Hey everybody and welcome to Tuesdays with me, Fernando Abad, and Chris Hevlo. Hello. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the new Taco Bell, uh, the, the rattlesnake fries from Taco Bell. And we also got the new, uh, chi the, well, I got chicken. Power burrito. The power burrito. The chicken power burrito. And Chris got, you got a beef power burrito? I got a steak power burrito. You got a steak, but, but, well, it's basically beef. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. So. You grab the fork. All right. We're going to try this. I've, because I've, I've never tried this. This, I've heard a lot of, uh, interesting things. Uh, they actually made, uh, use rattlesnake venom on, well, not, they, uh, harnessed rattlesnake venom and put them in the fries and it creates this really spicy flavor in the fries so it's it's enough to get, garner my attention and it probably is worth the the price of, of what, what was it like three dollars three dollars three dollars for like this many real fries. rattlesnake venom. real red rattlesnake venom for three dollars no, not real rattlesnake venom steve Irwin would kill for that if he wasn't dead Anyways, he'd love it. He'd love it. Yeah. Peter, don't come after us. <laughs> That's a topical humor. All right. Uh, where, where do you want to start first? Do you want to start with the? Uh... I would say we should save the best for last. All right. So, the rattlesnake venom. Yeah, yeah. One, yeah. The rattlesnake fries. All right. So, he got beef. I got chicken, and we're gonna. I've never really eaten a burrito before. Uh, let's get a little closer to the camera. See little, little, you get to see a little bit of the ingredients right there. There you go. Chris, you wanted to show you. Toast. Toast. All right. Dig in in one, two, three. Very green. The first bites of a burrito aren't always the best because that's where the folds are. So you just get a whole mouthful of tortilla. I didn't get much chicken. I yeah, just got it's the... towards the middle. The middle's the best part. Yeah, I'm getting towards the middle right now. They definitely shrunk this thing though. About during summertime, me and my grandma, we went to um, a Taco Bell in North Carolina and she got the same one, the steak one. And it was like this much bigger. So I think they downsized it. Mm. So I got to each, I got to reach the chicken, right? And they have this the sauce with the chicken, and I think they might have that the same for the the green. For the, for the, yeah, that's guacamole. Oh, that, that's guacamole. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Taco guaco. There's uh, there's guacamole and sour cream in this. Yes, no. I think there's some ranch dressing in here too. Mm. Yeah, I could tell. There's some ranch dressing. All right, so what I like about this burrito is that there's ranch inside it. I didn't really notice that until Chris pointed that out. I think they have it for both your, bur your both burritos too. Uh, they have guacamole, they also have tomato, they have uh, cheese, I believe. Yep, they do the same thing. Uh, it's basically a meal in, in one. You don't really have, to, and it's like five, it's like six dollars just for, not, it, but for like a, a really like a, a lot. I would say it's worth it flavor wise, but not quantity. This isn't really large. <coughs> yeah, it's not, but it's not small either so I, I think it could this could fill up a person and they could just carry on um, with their day i would say they should sell it for maybe about four dollars instead of almost six so it's good but i don't think it's worth the size of a whole meal maybe like the price of a whole meal i could see someone getting full from this though i could see like maybe they just want a quick bite of taco bell and yeah they want to get something that's not above ten dollars because they don't want to spend that much money uh but something to fold them something that could uh
something that's worth something that would fill them up for about a couple of hours to get them through the day. And I think yeah. this would be one of those. This is one of those decisions. This is one of those uh, examples of food that I think works. Yeah. They also have a lot of one dollar burritos too, but it's not a genuine burrito. They have like rice and nacho cheese, so it's not really a real burrito. It's more of junk food. And I don't even think they fill you up as much either. Yeah, but since they're cheap, you can get a bunch of them. Mm. I usually get their one dollar shredded chicken quesadillas here. Their one dollar mini shredded chicken quesadillas. They're pretty good. All right, that was the uh, burrito. Yeah, each. I didn't even take a sip on the with the burrito. So. I would. I would rate it overall. What, what is the overall rating system, Chris? Obviously, one would be bad. Mm -hmm. We could cap it at ten. You, you want to cap it? I would. Uh, I would say, like, I'd give this an eight. eight I'd is, give it a seven or an eight out of ten. It it's pretty good. It's nothing out of the ordinary. I wouldn't say like I wouldn't go out of my way just to get this item. Right. But mm -hmm. it definitely satisfies taste-wise. Um, to my own tastes, I didn't. I wasn't really a fan of the ranch dressing, just because I don't really like ranch. But okay. it wasn't to the point where, like, see, somebody who doesn't like ranch likes this right. food object. It wasn't so therefore, repulsive. it's good. You didn't like. You didn't... There was a lot of ranch in there too, but I didn't mind it because it blended well with the other flavors. Right. So I I'd, I'd give it an eight out of ten. Well, I like like ranch, so I'm giving it the benefit of of that. So I give it an eight out of ten. So I guess we consider. This an eight out of ten. It's a seal of approval from from the uh, from the food reviewers food right reviewers. here. Tuesday, Tuesday. From Tuesday, Tuesday. Next now, segment. it's not over yet because we have one more item to eat, to, to taste, to and, absorb, to observe, absorb, and it's probably the most. It, it's very extreme for Taco Bell to do something like this. To, yes. To do harness rattlesnake venom and put them on fries. Pita is gonna be coming after our video and Taco Bell and Taco Bell. Even though we're right outside of the Taco Bell right now. Yeah. So you got your. I have my fork. fork. I have my fork right here. All right. We got a spork. Let's unleash this. We gotta. Spork. We gotta hold it up. To the camera. Oh yeah, I have a spork. Well, like, does it really make a yeah. difference? Rattlesnake. I mean, we can open it up to get a better picture. It's hot. It's really hot. Yeah, it's and I turned, my I turned the car. It's burning my hand. Off for it. Oh shit. We're gonna be suffering in here. Okay. Oh, look at that. Wanna show it to the camera? Look at that. Rattlesnake and fries. That is a work of art. Jeez. Oh. It, so this, this consists of a creamy type of chipotle sauce, um, steak, their classic nacho nacho fries, and um, some jalapenos, or as most people call them, jalapenos. Jalapenos. If anyone calls them jalapenos, they're like uncultured in several ways. Anyways, so, all right, I think we should. It. Yeah, this. Is that, oh, you can, seen you can smell the spice. Yeah, the spice. Yeah, the jalapeno. There's only three jalapenos, but the spice that's irradiating off of it is it's just. Yeah. That mixed with the hot of the car. Yeah, the, it's the heat of the car. Uh, huh. Without further ado, let's dig in. Let's dig in. Yeah. All right. Who wants the first bite? You or me? You can get it. Here, it's your show. Well, it's our show. Radio Nando. Radio Nando. Radio Nando goes live on the streets. That wasn't enough. That's on. You gotta get some steak in there. You gotta get a close up of the camera. Put it in your face. <laughs> All right. I'll get a little bit more. And, uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. There's no um, sponsors. <laughs> Coral Glades TV Production Crew, WJG TV, Go Jags. Um, this is for you guys. This is for YouTube. 
This is for everyone who wants to watch and enjoy. How how you feeling? I did not expect it. It's not that spicy. But, well, you didn't get a jalapeno. Oh, yeah. Well, obviously, without the jalapeno, it's not going to be as spicy. It is kind of spicy. I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit build up right now. Mm -hmm. But it's not as bad as, you know, as everyone, like, oh, it's one of the spiciest things because the rattlesnake. It's so spicy. You want to take know? your fork? Oh, yeah, my bad. This might just be, like, it kind of looks like it's just nacho fries with the cheese on top yeah and then they just sprinkled some seasoning of jalapeno yeah or they could not have just put any rattlesnake venom at all it could be just a marketing ploy which it might it kind of might be yeah this is disappointing <laughs> right really? I, I went into this thinking i was gonna get a mouthful of spice it's just nacho cheese on top of Taco Bell's nacho fries with steak. Yeah. The only spicy part about this, it looks like, is the jalapeno. I mean, this fry here has red on it, so maybe that's where some seasoning is, but. I, I think most of this is probably seasoning because I see some on the steak and maybe a little yeah, jalapeno. This is just glorified cheese fries. It is spicy cheese fries if you really consider it. You want it. I mean, we could it. try it with the jalapeno. Yeah, and that's gonna make a difference. We get the small jalapeno. I'll put it over here, and then we can both have it at the same time. Yeah, we can cheers to that. Okay, I'm gonna get the second jalapeno. Let's get a meaty bite. You cheers. got it on there. Cheers. To be honest, the jalapeno is spicy, but not as spicy as I expected. Yeah. Huh. Ooh. Yeah, even, yeah. It's getting the... hot, but it's not, it's making me hot. It's not spicy. <laughs> it's not as, yeah, it's not spicy. I feel like. Like my spice is already gone. My yeah. tongue is completely good again. If I wait a couple, like, moments, I think it could be, yeah, don gone. I don't. I think I need the soda. Like it's making me sweat. At, that in the car heat. That in the car heat. But it's not. It's doing nothing to my mouth. It's not. It's not spicy at all yeah. to me. It's just making my body. It's sweat. gone now. I think for me. It's gone. It's gone. I mean. I mean. I'm gonna have to give this like a four. A four. A four or five. It's honestly not. It's not living up to the hype. Really. I'm gonna give this. A little disappointing. I think it was okay, but yeah. it could have been a lot better. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go ahead and give this a four as well, or at least a four point five. Because four point five. Four point five. Yeah. So that's an average. For an average is pretty much pretty four. Yeah. yeah. Pretty much four. But like, I don't know. It looks like there is some other type of sauce on here. You can see that. I just think it's. But I don't taste anything. Isn't it just cheese and chipotle? It just tastes like cheese. Like, or Chipotle or any other spices that they put. Oh, see, yeah, there, there, there was a little bit of spice, but that's, that's it. That's it. And the steak was really chewy. It's not like, I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it that much. I think. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't think it's that big of. You want a, any more? Uh, yeah, I'll have some more. Okay, I'll package it up for you. I'm not gonna you know, eat it right in front of the camera now because I'm. Huh. I just wanted to express my dissatisfaction with I the meal. Really close this. Oh. I think the only reason why people made this such a big deal is because uh, Taco Bell marketed that, well, marketed to the people that we use rattlesnake venom for these fries <clears throat> and we made it extremely spicy. And when we actually, you actually try it, it's it really isn't anything it's just spicy to an extent and that's pretty much it yeah it kind of just flares up and then shimmers and dies just instantaneously pretty much it doesn't taste bad but it could have been a lot more with 
with what it what was given. Yeah, because it's like we went into it expecting, like we were scared of it. Yeah, we, want, we wanted it to hurt. We we wanted it to hurt so good. We wanted that to happen, but it didn't. What ended up happening was not what we expected either. Like we were expecting something that would like basically burn our tongues off. Yeah, and it took a second of just spice, and that was it. So, well. But yeah, that was disappointing. Uh, the burrito was really good. Yeah, the burrito's good. Go get the burrito. It's six dollars, but five, it, yeah, a five lot. five sixty nine for the chicken. I think that's the only thing that was wrong with the burrito was the price. Yeah, the burrito. If they was bumped really it good. down a little bit, that it could be like I, I think it would be like a, a number higher for me. Yeah, in the rating system, it it was pretty good, and that's not even the main thing of this video. Yeah, like the first, like the one we thought was gonna be the worst one actually came off as the best one, and the the one we thought was gonna be the best, like the highlight of the video, turned out not <laughs> to be that to be the worst. special. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, so that's uh, final consensus. Go to get the burrito, the 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 uh, the super burrito. No, the, the, the power the, menu. The power menu burrito. burrito with the chicken or the steak, however, whichever you want. Uh, don't, I, I, if you want to try the rattlesnake fries, do I guess it. you can do it, but it's, don't, ex, don't come in expecting like, a, a, like a, a volcano in your mouth. Basically, you're paying a dollar extra yeah. for glorified nacho fries. Exactly. And I'm not a fan of the nacho fries in general, because I don't think they're all that. It's just cheese fries. Yeah. And this is just cheese fries with chewy steak and probably like genetically modified Taco Bell jalapenos to be not spicy. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, thank you for tuning in to this episode of Tuesdays. Uh, this has been Fernando. And Chris. Uh, and we'll see you in the next episode where we'll be eating another item. See you guys next Tuesday or, well, Tuesday. Tuesday. And yeah. Bye, guys. See ya.